Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Chelsea and today I am so excited because I am trying a new brand to me called Private Society Cosmetics. So one of my girls, Shelly, she has been raving about their products and she was like, you have to try them, Chelsea. And I had always heard about Private Society from Scott Barnes. He's a celebrity makeup artist for JLo, I believe. And um, he was on Tati Beauty's YouTube channel one day and he was using their highlight palette and it looked amazing. And then I've seen other people talk about the brand and also their highlight palette. So went on their website, saw that they had a bundle where I was able to get their Glow Getter Highlight Palette, the volume two one. So I got this here, an eyeshadow palette from them and also a blush palette from them for a whopping $60. And the highlight palette alone is $42. And I was like, now this, this is a deal. So I went on ahead, picked these up. So we're gonna be demoing all of them on my face today. And then of course, I'll be sharing with you my opinions, my thoughts, and if I do recommend them. So definitely stay tuned for all of that. But before we get into this video, I just wanna say thank you so much for each and every one of you who has taken time out of your day to spend some time with me. If this is your first time here, come on and stay. Subscribe to the channel join the family and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for constantly supporting my channel and coming back to show me some love it really does mean a lot to me and i really do appreciate each and every one of you so let's get into this video the packaging first of all is just gorgeous so here is the box that the blush palette came in and this is so pretty this is actually textured in raised and then on the back this is going to be the colors of the blush and then the outer packaging for the blush palette looks like this which i think is so cute and this key right here is actually like 3d um it actually looks like there's a key here and then you open it up you get a nice huge size mirror that's got a cute little message right here it says ps you made me blush that is so cute then you get this film that is actually detachable so if you don't like those you don't have to keep it and then here are the blushes so i am such a blush girl i saw this and i was like yes i want to try this then we have the eyeshadow palette so this is the smoke show eyeshadow palette once again you've got this nice textured emblem here this is what the back of the packaging looks like. And I will say each one of these items came very securely packaged. So, so each palette came in its own box, cardboard box. Then when I opened up the palette, it was this um, foam protector surrounding the palette. And then when I actually took the palette out, it was wrapped in bubble wrap. So it came packaged very well. None of my items were damaged in the process. So this is the actual outer packaging of the eyeshadow palette. Once again, you've got this uh, 3D key right here. And then inside, same thing, nice size mirror. The message on the mirror said the same thing, major look. And then it comes with a little film. And then these are the shades. So when I saw this palette, I said, this is pretty cool. I get a nice cool to oh, a nice warm toned palette here and then a nice cool toned palette here. So I think I'm gonna do a cool toned look today because I typically always go toward warm, but we're gonna, you know, step outside of our comfort zone. And then for the item that I am most excited about is the highlight palette. So this is the outer packaging of the highlight palette, very reflective. Once again, raised textured here. This is what the back of the box looks like. And then this is what the actual palette looks like. So it has that reflectiveness as well. 3D symbol here. And then very nice size mirror. Tail to the side. The message says, let's get lit. And then these are the shades of the highlight. And I just want to run my brush through all of them. I really think that's what I might do today. All right, so I already have on foundation, concealer, powder, and bronzer. So let's jump right into the blush. So I'm not going to put all of these blushes on my face, but I will insert swatches of all the blushes so that you can see what they look like. So this blush palette is called the Secret Admirer Palette. It does retail for $42. And it says you'll fall in love with these platinum primer infused powders. They're eight silky smooth shades, sure to make you blush, including two AMPs for that sun-kissed glow. So it says that you can um, contour the cheeks with the shade called Sweet Romance. These two shades right here are more of your highlight blush shades, and then the rest of the shades are matte. Going in with, with my Morphe E4 brush, I want to go into Pinky Swear because that looks like a cool toned pink. So this shade is, I like this, nice 
and even though it looks like a lighter pink like a it looks like it might be a little more of a cooler pink it doesn't look ashy on my skin i don't mind wearing a pink um, blush but i don't want it to look ashy so we will wear we will try some of these blushes though because i am all about building up a blush okay then um let's go into let's go into pinky romance why not i have on bronzer but i can try to apply this like right here see if we can see some okay i can see some color oh yeah i could definitely use this i'm using um sonia kasha blush brush but that's nice I like that I would definitely use this shade as kind of like a bronzer to contour my cheeks and then let's go in with this shade called first kiss right here and I'm gonna use this as a highlight shade because I do think it would work for that oh yes this is oh this is pigmented okay Oh yes, I am enjoying that. Ooh. And I think I'm just gonna take a little bit and just kind of sleep around the cheeks so I can get some of that glow here because I do like a glowy blush. I keep wanting to say brush. I do like a glowy blush. Okay, that was nice. I'll definitely keep you all updated on my thoughts on the blush palette, but I feel like that's something I would reach for because I've got a nice, array of colors and the shades within the palette are shades that I typically do like um but yeah I really do like how my cheeks are glistening and shining but they're not doing too much oh man I forgot I had the highlight palette <laughs> Charles what are you doing once again like I did for the blush palette for this one I will also insert swatches of the highlighters but here are them in all of their glory so this is the glow getter volume 2 highlight palette it also retails for $42 and it says, the reviews are in and the hype is real. The celeb worthy highlighter palette has intense luminosity. It's highly pigmented and light reflecting. All shades are platinum primer infused to provide an intense lustrous finish. Let's go with, oof, there's so many shades. Let's look at um, Conceited right here. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, and um, we're, we're not coming to play, we're not. And I am, I am here for that. Hello, Highlight. How are you today? Oh. <laughs> oh, this is pretty. Formulation is really, really smooth too. I'm looking at my face up close and I don't feel like this is like gritty or chunky on the skin. It looks really smooth. Let's try Illuminati right here. I'm gonna try that across my nose and in my T-zone. Oh, that's pretty. I initially thought Illuminati would be like too icy almost, but it's got like this yellow, um, it's got like a, a yellow base to it. So it's not icy, icy white. Oh, that is, ooh. Mm. This shit is yummy. Woo! Yo! Oh, I can't wait to use this again. I cannot wait to use this one again. I want to put a third shade on. Yes, let, let's do that. All right, so let's go in with Batty right here. I'm going to go in with Batty and I'm going to pop that right here because it looks like it could be a blush color on me. And let's see. <sighs> Yes. Oh, y'all, I'm glowing. I'm glowing and I am here for it. This is pretty. Now on a normal day, I wouldn't do this. Actually, I probably would do this on a normal day. This is a lot, but I'm here for it. Actually, I'm gonna put a little bit of Illuminati just right here, just right there. Yeah, I just wanna, yep. I just need to add a little bit. 
um, and I'm doing a lot and it's okay. It is okay, guys. The way that I am glowing right now and the way that I feel from that is just, mm -hmm. I can already tell you that highlight palette, I already recommend it. Already recommend it. Oh, let's get into this eyeshadow palette. So I'm gonna bring you in and then we'll do this quick little eye. Okay, look. so like I said, I wanted to do a cool tone look today because I typically always go in for warm tone. So I'm gonna stay on this side of the palette. So this palette does retail for $35. It's called their Smoke Show Eyeshadow Palette. Um, it says today's forecast is smoking hot, steamy mattes, smoldering metals, and sultry shimmers will have you looking like a smoke show. All shadows are platinum and primer infused, so you'll radiate and others will feel the heat. It says that these shadows are creaseless, there's intense payoff, there's a velvety texture, they're easily blendable, long wearing, and of course, platinum infused, like they said before. So I'm just not even gonna apply a primer. Typically, I don't like to apply a primer, just like on an everyday look. Um, so I'm not gonna apply a primer today because they say that these are primer infused. Let's go in with Troublemaker right here. I'm just gonna kind of start off lightly right here. And guys, I barely dipped my brush in this shade and wow. So um, this is interesting. This looks blue in the pan, but it's almost coming off green on me. Do you guys see that? Um, wasn't what I was going for, but we're gonna keep moving. Packing on this black shade. Y'all, that black shade blended, blended out so well and like so quickly. I'm impressed with that. Okay, then I wanna go in with the shades, 50 shades, and I want to see if I can blend this out above the gray, I mean above the blue color. Cause I don't, I don't like this blue color. It looks green. Okay, good. 50 shades is covering up Yes, oh, this is looking much better. Now I wanna go in with Vixen right here. And so far I have not experienced any fallout with those matte shades, so I'm very impressed by that. And I'm getting very little fallout with this uh, shimmer shade, which is great. Then I'm gonna go in with the shade called Bombshell right here. I thought bombshell was gonna be more like a glitter shade, but I think it's like a, I think it's like one of those matte shades that has shimmer in it. I can't put my finger on it. Like I'm seeing shimmer. I think you all can see the shimmer, right? Um, but I thought it was more glittery than this. If you have this palette and you know what the shade is or if you can just tell you know let me know i'm gonna go in with the sonia kashuk brush and i'm just gonna take a little bit of the black just a little bit and just only concentrate it on the outer edge of the eye and then i'm gonna go back in with that gray shade called 50 shades and i'm just gonna bring blend that with the black and then bring it in toward the inner corner. And then I'm gonna go in with the shade, mix in that gray shimmer that we used before and put that in the inner corner right here. And then I'm gonna go in with bombshell and just put that kind of in the middle. I'm gonna clean up this portion of my eyes and also gonna clean up right along here, but I don't wanna waste time doing that on camera. So I'm gonna clean up my eyes and then come back and share with you my final thought. Okay, so here's the finished look and I'm gonna be really honest, I do not like my eye look and I think it's me. I don't think it's the eyeshadows at all 
because I was very impressed by how well the eyeshadows blended out. Like I had essentially no fallout, even from the shimmer shades. I just had like the tiniest, tiniest little bit of fallout right here from this bombshell shade right here. But like these shadows blended very well, very pigmented. And I really, I like the look. I don't like the look on me. And I do think um, because I did mess up initially with that blue color, like I, I don't feel like I recovered well from it. But honestly, I was not trying to redo this look. So I'm going to, I'm looking forward to using the warm tone shades. And I think for the cooler side, I'm very interested in using this um, shimmer blue shade right here. And I don't know why Troublemaker, it was Troublemaker. It was a Troublemaker for me. I don't know why that looked green on me. Maybe if I mixed it with the blue shimmer, it might have looked more blue, but I don't know. But this is the eye look, so I'm sorry if this, if I didn't do this palette justice, I really don't think I did. So don't judge my skills on the performance of the palette. Um, I do think this is a nice palette and I'm definitely gonna reach for it again. That black shade though was so impressive. Like how well it packed on, how well it blended out. It was so easy to use and black typically is not an easy, an easy color for me to work with. So I was very impressed by it. So I do think this is a very good formulated eyeshadow palette. Um, and like I said, don't judge my eye look on the performance of the palette, it's all my fault. But this highlighter palette, let me tell you, she is definitely, she met all of my expectations. I cannot wait to use all of the shades in here. I'm literally just like, I'm gonna have so much fun with this highlight palette because I love just how beautiful and like glossy these highlights look. They really do mesh into the skin. And even for applying it right along here on my cheeks where I do have my pores, I don't feel like it's accentuating my pores or exaggerating them. I've got a pimple right here and I don't feel like the pimple is like, hello, how are you? Like these highlights are just so beautifully formulated and I would say out of all three of these products, I would highly recommend this one if you're interested in trying anything first. Like if I have to get one thing from the brand, I'm gonna say go with the highlight palette. This blush palette, I really did enjoy using it. I'm looking forward to using it in the future as well. I'm a blush girl, so I, I, I knew I wasn't gonna not like the palette, but I really do think these shades are just very beautiful and I think I can get a good range of uh, use out of this and I also like that they did throw in this sweet romance shade because like I said earlier for me I would use that shade as a contour shade if I didn't really want to put on bronzer but I did want to just add you know some definition to my face and my look I would definitely use that so all in all I'm very happy with the products that I purchased from private society I'm very interested in trying more from the brand and just see, you know, what else they have to offer. So if you have other recommendations from the brand, leave them in the comment down below. I'm very new to them and I'm interested in trying, you know, the best of the best. So yes, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really do hope to see you in my very next video. Bye guys.